Okay, so this will be assembling the horizontal tail and the vertical. Uh, the key thing to getting this right is understanding the numbering system that I've got on here. So if it is parallel to this bottom edge, it's part of the horizontal tail, it's a horizontal line. If it's vertical to the bottom edge, then it is a vertical tail piece. So we'll start with the horizontal tail pieces. And there should be two of these. So you can verify that you have two of them uh, to be used on either side of the horizontal tail. So we'll start with the number one piece. And all you're gonna do is stick it into its aft shear web. And glue it down. You want it to be at a 90 degree angle. Take the number two piece and Put that, that in. And then the number three piece. Same thing. Might be helpful to have a friend hold the pieces for you while you glue them in. So straight. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Quite a terrible thing. He's alright. I mean, once you get to know his style, he's fine. But when you don't get to know him, he's secure. Mm -hmm. Okay. He gets one of these in the end, so we're not allowed to arrange. Yes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Mm -hmm. If you make it out of this education right. program, you're a winner. Everybody got those in. Now let's go and do the same thing on the vertical. We're doing this kind of method. I want to cut it off. I've got the number one for the vertical. And you notice this is a big trapezoid. So there's a larger part and a smaller part. Start from the bottom, which is the larger part. This is uh, yeah, both of these mixed together. So, you should do super good. Are you sure we cut it right here? Yeah, okay. I know you are. I'm checking the video. Getting there. Getting there. I'll hold it. Yeah, I think these are fine. That's how all right, let's go back to the horizontal. So you've got these four shear web pieces. These work just like you know, they did in, in the wing. They come together like this over the ribs. So these are at an angle. So they're not going to go in as easily. I didn't mean to take the Michael. It's like, yeah, I don't want to do it. So I would recommend putting it in. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was yelling at Doug. I was like, Doug, you need to yell at Randy louder. Yeah, I'll have to fix that piece. It didn't matter in the end. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure these are also tapered. It's a big trapezoid. It's larger at this side, smaller at this side. That's how they're going in. Hmm. 
For some reason, that's still a lot higher, and that shouldn't be the case. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this piece a little bit. So I'm just going to take off. Your pieces will probably be modified, so I will go back and do this for you. But, Ah, that fits a lot better. Alright. You're looking for it to not break that outer mold line shape. We can glue these in. So there you have the uh, vertical and horizontal pieces glued together. Uh, let me go ahead and just glue yeah, these on. So, so you know, it's going to fit on there like that. And we're going to need to use stick CA. So you guys are putting this on now. I can't believe you saw that. I'm so mad. I know. And then for the horizontal tail. Exactly, that's not what I'm telling I'm like, don't pull like an Apollo 1 and just calm down. Let's start it. Let's put it in there. We're going to work these into place. Hey, but it popped right as well. Oh, it just wants to have more responses. 
Got that main structure done. And I want to go back and add epoxy, epoxying the tube to these bulkheads. So I'm going to grab um, this. I conveniently have these mixing sticks that we just cut off. We'll go up and mix up some epoxy. Can you need Remember with six minute, mix it for a minute, use it for three. Got to get tacky in the last two. You gotta work fast. Make sure you mix it. One to one ratio. Give it a last look over, make sure everything looks straight and square to the main tube, because that's going to be your connection. If that's wonky in any way, you'll know it. So, with that, we've got the structure. And in the next video, we're going to show you how to put in all the sticks.